Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 16 of my Unity Make an RPG series and today I'm going to be going over the input manager in Unity and how to uh, move a simple transform object within the Unity game engine. So I'm in the same project that I've uh, been in this whole time and uh, I'm where we left off last time. Uh, on our main camera I have a player movement script that I'm actually going to uh, come into the inspector window and I'm going to uh, left click the little gear here and I'm going to remove the component and I'm going to go to our scene view and I'm actually going to go to game object and I'm going to create a new cube and I'm going to go back to that same gear in our inspector window under transform and I'm going to hit reset and that just puts it back at zero 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 puts a position and rotation and scale back to its original default values and then I'm going to grab our player movement script and I'm going to drag and drop it onto the cube now the reason why I'm doing this is that we can uh, now in our player movement script let's say the, our, the cube is our player we can actually name it that real quick uh, so go player now that it's uh, the script is attached to that we can just uh, we can just look for the transform in that script so we can go transform dot something and that uh, the script knows you the engine knows that we're accessing the transform it's attached to so the next thing I'm going to go over real quick uh, is uh, the input manager. Now, if you go to edit and go to project settings and go to input, you'll see these different axes, which are uh, <clears throat> the different uh, buttons that are uh, default to every brand new Unity project. And basically, these are just um, buttons that are uh, that can be changed. So let's say when let's say you you finish your whole entire game, or you know how most games you're able to computer games you're able to uh, choose which buttons you want to do what. This is the way to do that. And um, basically, you can create as many uh, axes as you want, and um, you can change the names. You can change what their values are. You can change uh, what they do. Uh, you can even add effects of gravity and sensitivity to them if you want so sensitivity is good for um, if you're using a joystick those buttons uh, can register sensitivity more so than a uh, mechan a, a keyboard a keyboard can't really do that uh, but so let's look so in your unity project uh, I haven't changed any of these so these are all the basic ones so let's go to your unity pro so click on fire one and uh, we'll go through and basically you see its name is fire one and this is how you access that uh, input uh, value. That's how you access that within script. And I'll show you uh, in just a second what I mean by that. And then it has a descriptive name and a descriptive negative name, a negative button and positive button. Basically, it's going to um, there's a function or there's a function you call called get axes, which will give either a negative or positive value value uh, depending on the in this case if left control is is pressed it's going to uh, be sending out a positive float value and in this case nothing is in the negative button but if you put the right control for instance right control button here uh, a negative value will be outputted um, and I can show that too in just a second so like I said this is the name this is how you access it you can have positive negative buttons you can have alternate positive negative buttons so let's say you want to go left and right which uh, normally for like a first person shooter or a third person game uh, it's A and D well you can also use the arrow keys and that's what these alternate negative positive buttons do you can apply gravity you can apply dead uh, <clears throat> which is a you can read it's a dead zone all analog device values within the range map to neutral uh, the sensitivity to it you can snap it so it's quicker uh, I believe it snaps to the value or not okay so like I said in script excuse me like I said to call in script we're gonna go back into mono develop so what I did I just opened our player movement script up in mono develop should be the same as it was last time and I'm gonna quickly show you guys um, what I mean uh, how to access the uh, fire button so in our first uh, if statement I have if input get key and this is the same function last time and then get key takes a string so instead of W instead of saying we're gonna look for the W key we're gonna actually look for fire one controls to save we're actually we're gonna change pressing W to pressing fire one controls to save we're gonna go back into uh, unity I'm gonna press play 
And now in our console window, oh, we're getting an exception. Fire one is unknown. I think it needs to be get key down, actually. And I'm not sure why. I'm going to pause the video real fast. All right, so I had to go check a few things and uh, just to make sure what I'm doing was right or wrong, and it was wrong. Uh, I thought I had literally just tested this before, and I had definitely had a little brain fart. But anyway, anyways, <clears throat> uh, what get key is not remappable. Get key uh, function takes a base takes uh, explicit uh, strings that only Unity knows that cannot be changed by the user. So uh, if you want to use remappable keys, in which using the input manager is, and which I suggest you guys do, mappable, mappable, remappable keys are nice for uh, all users. You need to be using get button, and get button has the same, basically does the same exact thing as get key does. Uh, there's get key, there's get button, get button down, get button up. Uh, it looks, it turns, it's, uh, you're supposed to call in the update function, it's supposed to run the update function, and it, since the update function updates every frame, the get button and its uh, different variants capture the uh, the button press uh, on the beginning of every frame if it's on. So it's gonna it's gonna return true once it sees it's down or up or just on in general. And uh, so go. So anyways, I went to our second if statement and I put input dot get button down and I put testing in there. And you might be wondering why I put testing. Well. If you go back into edit and uh, project settings and input, I actually changed the name of Fire One to testing, and um, so that's all. Uh, you can do it. You don't need to. You can keep it Fire One. So change the testing. I put it in there, and now uh, going to control S to just change the debug statement. And now you can see it's uh, hooked to our positive buttons. Our our positive button is a map. To our left control. So I'm going to press play real fast and I'm going to press left control and you're going to see it, it come up. So I'm pressing it, it's looking for it's uh, going down and you can see me pressing it th multiple times here and it's it's seeing it. And th that's basically how you use remappable keys. Uh, I'm also going to, um, <clears throat> I want to debug.log the uh, input get axes. And this is um, get axes is going to take a string, so we're going to say testing, and it's returning a uh, a float. I'm pretty positive it's returning a float, so we should see a value. So you can see the value; it's a one. And basically, <clears throat> if this this value is because it's our positive value, and uh, I can let's put in I'm going to put right do a right. Let's do space for our negative button real fast. Oh, I didn't. Hold on. I'm going to change it space to a negative button so you can see me outputting our negative value. So right now I'm pressing the left control and we have a positive value. Now we press space, we get negative one and negative value. Now you might be wondering what this is good for, and this is good for <clears throat> literally just comparing. You can just look, you can say uh, get axes. So you can say input dot get axes uh, say horizontal movement, which in this case is A and D, which is in the input manager here, uh, or it's, excuse me, it's under left, uh, which moves the character left. You can have a horizontal movement. Oh, here it is. I knew it was here. Okay, it just doesn't have anything mapped to it. But basically, horizontal mov movement would be your left and right movements, and you can have it so that when you hit A or D, uh, it basically just goes from negative one to positive one, and it will just change your uh, your speed in that direction, either left or right, um, and I get into that when we go into the object translation, uh, which we're going to do right now uh, before I end the video, real quick. So, uh, go to our scene view, hit game component, and uh, add a cube to the scene, and uh, we're going to move our player movement script off the main camera onto a cube. I'm going to reset it. And I think I did this before. Yeah, I had to restart Unity, so that's why. Okay, so basically, our cube's in the scene. Uh, I reset it back to zero. We have our play movement on the script, and I'm going to check something. I'm having a lot of problems today. Okay, so 
Uh, we have it in the scene. I'm gonna go back to our function, our uh, our player movement function, and uh, just for today, I'm just gonna do uh, one quick translate function, and then I'll explain all the different uh, vector values that you can use, and then I'm gonna end the video here because I don't want the video to be too long. So basically, to get an object to move with a key, uh, to get an object to move, the simplest I think the simplest thing to do is say uh, transform dot translate. And translate takes a vector three, which is basically a coordinate of zero 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 or whatever you want, or you can go vector three dot forward. Okay. Now, so you know, forward goes in the positive z direction, back goes in the negative z, up goes in the positive y, down negative y, left goes in the negative x direction and right goes in the positive x direction. Now what this uh, simple line here does is basically it says the transform, it calls transform, which the transform the script is attached to, translate or calculate uh, a distance to move to in this vector 3 direction. Okay, so controls to save, we're going to go to unity, I'm going to press play and I'm gonna hit W and you're gonna see the cube move pretty quick okay I'm tapping W because it's gonna move very quickly and it's doing this because it's just it's going as fast as the frame rate will let it go and I'll show you in the next video how we can stop that but basically I just wanted to show you guys some simple movement we'll do uh, back this time control S so if you remember our cube is going this way when I press play but now it's gonna be going the opposite way when I hit uh, the W button and it, it's doing it. So this is how we're going to set up the very first uh, basic um, movement functions. We're not going to keep it, but I want to show you guys that this is a way to move objects in uh, some of your other projects. Maybe you have very simple objects that don't need uh, detailed ca uh, character controls and you just want to move the object. Maybe you have something that goes up and down. You can program, say, go up, tr uh, transform.translate vector up until it hits a max and then tell it to go back down. Simple things like that. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Sorry for some of the confusion and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Like, like and subscribe if you don't mind and uh, look forward to episode 17.